Greetings, Taurus, Gemini. So I'm coming to you with your reading. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with your angels and archangels. So the first angel you received was Angel Sahaya. The dates August 7th through the 12th could be of some significance. And this angel protects health. Then you received Angel Mabahaya. The dates of December 22nd through the 26th could be of some significance. And this angel urges good deeds. Following that, we have your Alpha Oracle card. You receive the letter G, as in GOAT. The number 7 could be of some significance. So this represents hope, life force, self-consciousness, desire for action, and success. Okay? So, let's get started on your mental health cards. So your mental health cards that came out for you is take 10 minutes to read. And following that, you receive the card that says create activity, goals, and a plan. Next up, we have your astrological houses. I did clarify each house. So the first house you received was religion, faith, divine, God. Um, this is the ninth house. So from this, I got a situation surrounding a child um, energy. Um, no, a situation surrounding a child. When I got this, uh, when I pulled this, the energy did not feel good. Um, it could be in reference to a child's health. Um, and then I got something about a gift or using your gifts um, or profession um, and being held in high honor. So I got two different messages here. Okay, definitely take what resonates, what doesn't. Never feel obligated to make it fit to your situation or your life. So then following that, I have siblings, third house. Um, from this, I got end into our occupation in a community or for a community of people. Um, unexpected income in reverse. So whatever income was expected in this community is not happening. Next, we have Star Sea Oracle. And the first card you received was Portal. This talks about doors are opening, you decide, um, rewards, and wild card. Then you receive Jump In. This is the Andromedian energy or Andromedian energy, adventure, and um, say yes to change. Following that, we have your Mystic Martian cards. Okay. And the first card you receive is card 14. This is Nagas. And this talks about Tantra, erotica, sensuality, lovers, sexual union, vitality, seductive, kundalini, healthy lust, and desire. Okay. Then you receive card 17, Reptilians. For some reason, I feel like this relates to this community. But we have tyrannical, cruel, fight or flight, reptilian brain, interrogation, predator, survival, bully, territorial, um, pecking order, militant vessel. No, viewing everything as a competition. Okay. Um, following that, we have your gateway activation oracle cards so the first card you received was higher heart activation and this talks about um dropping shields divine love and your heart is healed then we have akashic stargate this talks about align with purpose crossroads no wrong paths okay then i have your ran your rainbow random words taurus gemini so the first word you received is study or read a book. We have bestiet. We have shadow work. We have throat chakra. We have unlikely. So something, something being unlikely. We have Aquarius. So you can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Or you could be a cross watcher who's an Aquarius or someone you're thinking of can be an Aquarius. Then we have karmic cycle. Um, this could possibly be a karmic cycle with an Aquarius. Um or a karmic cycle, some, somebody in the karm, something surrounding a karmic cycle. Then we have dragons. Then we have high vibrational. We have ABC 
and D. So that could be the first, middle, or last initial of you or someone you're thinking of. We have male, and then we have angel number 1111. So that is everything I have for you, Taurus Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely thumbs up this video, and I'll talk to you in your next reading.